We'll be looking at manual variable selection in R, starting with a multiple regression model and using the drop term function to simplify our model until we're no longer left with any more important variables. To illustrate this technique, we'll be making use of a data set in the MASS library, and it's a data set on CPU performance, which is measured against various variables and we're going to look at a way of selecting which are the important variables using a multiple linear regression model. First up we need to make sure that the data is available for our use so we load in the mass package using the require function and then the data itself is in the data frame called CPU so if we look at the first 10 rows of this data frame we can see that there's information about the particular CPU as in the name and then various other bits. Uh, most importantly is the column perf which is the measure of performance. So this is our dependent variable in the regression. First of all we're going to fit what we might consider our full model and save that as cpu.mod1. So we make use of the lm function which fits a linear model and then we specify a formula. So our y variable, the response, is in the column perf and then we're going to add in six of the individual variables that we're interested in trying to determine if they are important or not. So as we're looking at an additive model, we simply put the name of the variable and then a plus sign and then the next variable that we want to include. And we also need to specify where the data is actually stored, so in data frame CPUs. So when we've run this, we'll see that it's been saved as this object, cpu.mod1. So if we use the summary function on here, we'll get a standard regression output. So our table of coefficients can be used to determine whether any of the individual coefficients are significant or not. So if we look through the six variables that have been included, we'll notice that chmin, when we calculate the t-statistic for this variable, the ratio of the estimate to its standard error, we get a non-significant result. So what we could also have done here is to use a drop term function to go through each of these six variables one at a time to determine if any of them are not significant. So to make use of the drop term function we merely specify the name of a model so we give our cpu.mod1 and then we also want to indicate that we want to use f-tests to compare the nested models. So our summary table, as it says, looks at single term deletions. So in the first model, we remove the variable SYCT and then perform the test to see whether this means that we have a significant reduction in the goodness of fit of the model. So as we could see, this mimics what we've seen from running the summary function. And there's a relationship between the F value and the T values. For example, if we take the first variable SYCT, our t-value is 2.789, and if we square that value, we get 7.789, which is the f-value for comparing the model with and without that variable. So what we would want to do here is consider fitting um, the next model down. So we use the update function to take our original model, cpu.mod1. We then specify how we want to change the formula. So the dots on the left hand side of the tilde says we want to keep the same response variable. And the dot on the right hand side indicates we want to include all of the explanatory variables. But what we want to do is get rid of the ch min. So if we put minus ch min, this will exclude that variable. So that object is saved. And then we can run the drop term on this model object. And now we'll see that there's a significant decrease in the goodness of fit if we exclude any of the variables in the model. So we can again just run the summary on our fitted model object to confirm that all of the variables are considered to be significant. 